friends, it's Lindsay with Emeralds and Fairy Lights, and today I'm here with another organization video. <laughs> I'm excited to share this with you guys. Um, so the past few weeks, I've been looking for ways to organize diamond painting supplies. And now I have to tell you guys that I did order most of these products back in November. Inflation is real. And so the first two items that I showed you in the last two weeks, which was a diamond painting pen storage option and a cover minder storage option, they have gone up in price, um, but this one I checked on Etsy and is still the same price. Um, and so just, just giving you just a frame of reference, I will link this below. This does come from a Etsy shop or a small shop. And today this is for storage for your leftover drills. <laughs> okay, so um, I can't see my hand. I like, I just lotioned my hand so you can kind of see a little bit of the lotion on there. So let's open this up. Now, like I said, I ordered this back in November. And so this has been sitting um, around. <laughs> and so I like forgot what I ordered you guys. Like I knew I ordered drill storage and this package I'll tell you is a little bit of a like uh, opening it up. Then I won't have an excuse why not to organize my leftover drills. So I've kind of, you know, I was like, I'll just wait until I'm doing the videos. Cause I kind of plan to do them in March. So I'm opening this up with you guys the same time. I don't even know, remember quite exactly what I ordered. <laughs> so I got an envelope. Let's see. So this was, I don't know if I said it was from the Flossom Crafter. Um, oh, that's, that's neat. So it looks like the owner writes such a little note and it was saying, I hope you enjoy this so much. I love making them. And she wrote happy holidays because it was the holiday season. Um, Okay, we've got the packing peanut, and then I think it's nicely wrapped. Oh, that's cool. So she sent some little dum-dum suckers. Ooh, and it's the, I love the green apple one. <laughs> that's like my favorite one. Um, awesome. So, okay, so this one is wrapped, and like I said, I really feel like I'm, I'm opening up present here with that kind of wrapping. Okay, now I'm remembering slightly more. So I did get this box, um, this one, and it looks like it's going to open and we'll see what's inside. So I don't think there's any sort of like magnet, but it just closes really nice on here. Some of, some of the ones that I've bought have magnets, but I like, kind of like that, but it doesn't. So, what do we have here? <laughs> so, like I said, this is for spare drill storage. And this is a completely ready for you to open up and start working kit. So for me, I have actually tried to make some of these kind of things, and it just was kind of like not not what I wanted to be doing. I just, I wasn't very good at it and cutting it was just, I would rather be diamond painting. So when I saw this on Etsy, I was like, oh my gosh, <laughs> neat. So you do get these um, thick, this is like a really thick, almost poster, a thick poster board. And I believe what you do is you set these in here um, with, so you can have rows of your drills. And since this is a bit of a larger box, you do get um, all of that space. So you can have, you can have drills over here too. So, and then I like that there's a little bit of growing room in here. Like they're not super tight. I think I can kind of fill that um, the, these little dividers are gonna be held up once you get drills in there. So these packets though, um, it looks like they're all, they're, I, they do come already um, like labeled. So you can buy all of this stuff individually, I'll tell you. You can buy the boxes or you can buy the stickers or you can even buy like the sheets to put the stickers on. But I just didn't wanna mess with any of that. So I got the pre-made package. So it looks like what you get here, I'm just gonna open this one. 
we have got, I think, I think this is really cool. So there is a little divider that tells you these are the 800s and then you have all of your 800 DMC numbered drills that you can um, go ahead and, and open up and put your drills. Looks like that sticker got a little bit stuck there, but then we have the 900s. Um, and you have like a little bit of a color that shows you, is that? Sorry, it's not. So you get an indication of what the color is that you're looking at and the name of the DMC color. I'm sorry, my camera is not wanting to focus. I'm sorry if you can hear my child in the background. He's not wanting to do quiet time today. <laughs> Not at all. Um, so then, of course, you know, there's nothing in between the 900s and then it goes straight into the 3000s. But I think that this looks like it'll be really helpful. I really like that she has these these hard dividers for the, um, the beginning of a different section of, you know, by hundreds numbers. So let's see. I think it's so funny, the DMC too. You know how it's just crazy? Like you go from the 3000s, there's no 3100s or 3200s, but there's 3300s. <laughs> and then there's 3600s. And the logical thing would say there'd be 3900s, but nope, the next is 3700s. <laughs> so, um, and then what's really cool, I didn't know, but they ha she has included, look at this, how cool is that? <laughs> She has DACs, ABs in here. You guys, that is so cool. Look at this. And she's uh, these look like they're the updated colors. We've got 101, 105, 102, 103, 104. Um, oh, I think not all of them are updated, but I'm sure she'll have in her um, in her shop some a few because I'm like I know 105 is that ice gingerbread and I love it but look at how we've got so many of their regular ABs oh, that is awesome I had no idea I was getting that and you even get like a little marker to tell you that it's the DAC ABs I think that I would put my ABs over here on the side and then um, it looks like there is a whole section of ABs. Um, so these are all, I think, AB cards. So you can have a whole divider section of ABs if you want. That's really cool. <laughs> um, so, but for me, because I do store my ABs in um, a separate a separate container where I can see them and I don't necessarily store them by number but I store them by color I don't um, these I'm I'll see if I can use them in um, a different way we'll see maybe I mean I have so many I just constantly need to <laughs> have more storage for them but um, I think that this is Oh, I'm just excited you guys like I said I've kind of been putting it off because then that means that I have to like go ahead and de-kit some stuff because I've been putting it off because I knew I was getting these but on the other hand I'm just I'm just excited about this and I guess let's see so we've got a crew so some colors that don't necessarily fit within the regular DMC but there is some tags for that so that goes before the 100s then we've got the 200s and the 300s and I'm thinking that's enough for maybe one row given that 310 is in that let's see do I want to start it this way yeah, I do so we will put them this way and then I think I will go to this 600s here and then we'll do the seven and eight <laughs> and nine these these look like though they're so easily re like rearranged that you could maybe I want to just do the seven and the eight hundreds and we'll do the 900s and the 3000s. 
and the 33s in one. And then for the very last row, we will do the 36 and 3700 drills. So, oops, voila. <laughs> now, what do you guys think? Do you think this is a sort of storage system that you guys would like? Um, let me go get some drill bags and we'll try it out. So here I have some drills that I worked out of baggies with. I just finished it last night. Let's try this out. So we have got 436. So I'm just going to go in here and find 436. Oh gosh, you guys, I hate this in organization systems. Do you always put it after or do you put it in front? <laughs> I'm going to put it in front of it because I feel like that's what you're supposed to do. But see how that just slides back in. Now we've got 437, which is just going to be actually the next one over. So we'll put that one in there. I've got 434. I think this is going to work better when there's more in there. Like this one's turned around, but we've got 434. <laughs> I'm thinking maybe I need to like, um, yeah, populate this. Is that a word that you can use for the storage system before they're really going to stand up? I think I would like a way for these to stick in more um, permanent so they're not just moving around all over. But um, I don't know if like how you could do that. <laughs> Let me see. 4.35. Okay, I'm, I will be back in a bit. And we will be looking at this once I have some more in here. and there was about 40 colors there. So I now have 40 colors inside. If you can see that I have actually used these as placeholders, the ABs, because it was a little bit of a nightmare. I have to be completely honest with you guys because they just kept falling over. And then you guys know what it's like when you're trying to lift a stack back up and there's, there's a plastic bag between papers and you're trying to keep the plastic bag between those specific papers. So, um, honestly, I just, I, <laughs> in working, I realized what I needed to do was actually to use something to hold this back. Um, and so this actually, it's funny, this fell over in one of the times I was working on it. So in using this, I, I have room to maneuver, but it's going to hold it up and hold it together in the same way here. Most of the numbers that I had were <laughs> in these two, um, lines. And so those are the ones that are are there and so basically if I just find something else that's like about this size to put right there I think that this system will actually work really well um so anyway I'm, I'm excited to get more stuff in it I will be honest it's not like super easy to get it to all fit together I wish that it could be a little bit more secure and I could maybe do some things with it but I don't want to tempt it too much until I get all of my drills in but I think by the time I get all my drills in, it will have basically made it, itself <laughs> sturdy. Um, so let me know what you guys think. Um, overall, I do think this looks like it's a great storage and has a lot of room to grow. I know that she sells other boxes. Like you can buy another box without buying these things. And you could just expand if you have more and more. Now, the reason why you might collect some extra drills and things like that is because if you like to switch out drills and projects, I know I personally do that. If you like to do heaven and earth 
crown jewel canvases where you need your own drills or you want to do a converted cross stitch where you need your own drills um, that these these extra drills can come in really handy and can save you money when having to purchase from another supplier your drills. So let me know what you guys think. I'm happy to experiment for you. I will link this below, but overall I'm excited to get more in and I will definitely update you guys when I have more in my actual storage of the drills. So I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you in another video. Bye.